Hey guys, welcome back to the next part of the series. So the last time where I left off was I took off the transmission and the thrust bearing came out. And I wasn't sure which direction it was it goes in. It was either that way or this way. Apparently it's this way towards in there, according to the parts manual. There it is right there. And I should have looked at it. So the thrust bearing goes in here. And then when you got the clutch engagement, pushes it pushes it in. So that's that's the thrust bearing how it, how it goes in. All right. So <clears throat> looking at the at the process here, it says re remove power seat. I mean power seat. Remove front seat. Remove front door. I didn't do that. Remove battery. I did that. Drain coolant. I, I didn't do that yet. Drain transmission oil. Uh, I'll do that later. Uh, disconnect exhaust, which we did. Remove drive, rear dri uh, drive shaft, which we did. Um, remove the front drive shaft, where we did. And then disconnected the clutch cable. Uh, disconnect the shifter connection. We did that. Disconnect the speedometer. We did that. Disconnect electrical connections, some remove heater hoses. That, this is these are the next steps. Uh, remove air cleaner, air duct, disconnect accelerator cable, uh, fuel hose, uh, plug line, unbolt mounts, and remove engine. So we're doing uh, steps 13 through 20 tonight. <clears throat> and <clears throat> God, here's the here's what we're gonna do. Remove the air cleaner first. So. that air filter just pops right out we'll have to replace that and then I guess I could loosen it up here which I think it bolts somehow uh, yeah, it holds it in place right here with the bracket I guess and then uh, loosen this and then loosen it here and we'll take we'll take the air air cleaner out to get to the carburetor um, what I'm going to do is label some of these cables see like this 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 is what's going to that electric fuel pump you know things like that that were um, uh, rigged <clears throat> in a sense um, after uh, we get after I get this out I'll, I'll return back to the video it shouldn't be a hard process. I mean, it's straight, simple. Three, three bolts, uh, screws. I'm saying, and uh, uh, a little play it should come right out. That way, we get a better access to the the carburetor. Which I need to order a, a carb um, repair kit just so I can replace some of the. <clears throat> um, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, I guess I'll come back with the video and after I take that out and show you. Okay, their air cleaning box is out. Let's see, there we go. So, um, while I did that, I went ahead and again color coded the cables that need to be attached or detached now. Um, you know, uh, this one. This, like I said, this is going to that auxiliary electric fuel pump, and it's connected to the fuel shutoff valve in the carburetor. Um, at least they took some safety precautions there. Um, and then they got, I got this hose. I don't know where it goes, but um, I guess I'm going to disconnect these cables here. If we can get a better look at the, there's that one, and then number three. Come on. One hand is not bueno. That should come out. There we go. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'm gonna have to see if I could do it like a, 
a cable disconnect here. Um, in the meantime, let me see here. Where is this going? Okay. Here we go. Um, there's no way to unplug that. Oops, my bad. Here's what I'm looking. I'm holding my phone. This is my phone that I'm using. It's a Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. It does great video quality, but uh, trying to do work and look at the screen at the same time is not an easy task. So I'm going to have to disconnect the grounding and then the power. And that should be okay. So after I do that, we got two bolts. Um, I could disconnect some of the vacuums out. I'm, I, I'm not sure if some of these will come out easy. But I, you got that bolt and this bolt. These two bolts uh, ties in directly to the intake manifold. Um, so I'm going to try and see if I undo those and see what happens. I'm going to disconnect a couple of vacuum lines as well. I got these two right here that goes to this valve thingamajig. Um, let me look in the back. Let's see here what we got. Okay, so we got this line here. It's attached to the manifold. And then this line here, which goes... Oops. This one right here, also the manifold, or the water, that looks like the water coolant. This looks like it's a coolant line, I don't know. Okay, well that's uh, what I'm going to do next. Um, I'm going to take the carburetor out. So, alright, I'll be back. <clears throat> alright, well... She's almost ready. So here's how you take the um, the carburetor cable, the accelerator cable out. There's a screw right here that you need to screw in all the way, so so you could be able to take this part out. Come on. Uh, there we go. Okay, there. Now the cable is out. Then you loosen this bolt, nut. See, I say bolt for everything. Okay, so take that nut out, and then there's your accelerator cable. I left it in that, left that last nut in its position, so I'll know how far uh, back I need to go back when I put it back together again. <laughs> okay, and what I'm gonna do. Take some tape. Hmm. Hmm. Hang it up here. It might not hold, but just get it out of the way. You know? Okay. Alright, well, I disconnected its fuel line. I thought I did. Oh, well, I guess I did. Oh yeah, I did. Here's the fuel fuel line, fuel in, and you got the fuel return. Uh, need to pull that one out. I'll do that in a second. So let me explain. What's left is disconnect the radiator hoses, and then whatever this hose go to, disconnect it there, and let's check the other side. Alright, I see this hose, this is the grounding strap that was connected to the housing, exhaust housing. Let me see here, okay, I don't know what the, this part of the heater, heater core. 
Um, I don't see anything underneath. Yeah, I do. So there's two heater core um, hoses, and then the water, the coolant hoses, and then whatever this is, and disconnect it from the engine mount right there on both sides, and she's out. So I'll do that tomorrow in, in the morning. Because uh, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is take it off its stilts, whatever, and uh, just roll it back, disconnect the radiator hoses, and uh, let it leak outside and outside from the garage instead of inside of here. Uh, so I'll do that thing first morning. But there she is. Oh. She's loose and ready. Okay. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.